Thank you for viewing this presentation. First of all, I would like to thank Dr. Xiaozang for inviting me. I'm very happy that she contacted me to be a part of this 2021 conference. I'm grateful to be able to share my research project towards financial risk management at small and medium enterprises with such a nice audience. In this presentation that will last for approximately 20 minutes, I will discuss the following topics. I will start off with a quick introduction of myself and my interest within this topic, followed by the research project that will be explained. Afterwards, the research method and data will be discussed. Our main findings are then discussed before ending this presentation with the elaboration of the next step of our project. As being a lecturer at the International Finance and Control Program for many years, I have guided young people to become professional finance specialists. Most of them did their graduation project at a small or medium sized enterprise. In the last part of their study, students were asked to describe and analyze risk management of an organization. The idea of being helpful to small and medium sized enterprises in managing their financial risks triggered me. I became myself interested in literature and practice on the topics risk management and finance. Several years ago, I decided to start a long-term project and stepped into the world of science. I started off my PhD research project at the Tilburg University in the Netherlands. Efficient risk management implies that time and effort a firm puts in managing its risks is related to the risk it bears. One may call that rational. This idea led to the following hypothesis. The effort a firm puts into managing its risks is positively related to the risk profile of that firm. My research project in the end will test this hypothesis. As this slide shows, the project started off with the definition and modeling financial risk management for, F for SMEs. The second step is to add risk profile and test the main hypothesis. As the figure suggests, multiple regression analysis will be applied. Relevant literature on this topic is scarce. The vast majority of papers, articles and books cover big models for big corporates. Corporates that have the resources in time and money to customize standard risk management models like COSA. These kind of models was the outcome of research done at and for large financial and non-financial corporates. SMEs, as we all know, lack the resources to tailor, implement and maintain these kind of enormous risk management models. Big corporates have separate departments, especially for the execution updating its risk management. A literature review on financial risk management at SMEs is executed. A lot of researchers mentioned a scarcity of research is done at this topic and further research is needed. Applying literature to define and to cascade financial risk management into aspects. So, for me, the challenge was there to provide SMEs a tailor-made risk management framework. Moreover, a framework which can be used by the individual firm to assess and improve their financial risk management efficiently and effectively. Furthermore, previous research presents possible determinants of the level of financial risk management. These possible determinants were included into our questionnaire as general characteristics. This questionnaire contained 15 closed-end questions covering all financial risk management items. Also included were questions to determine the risk profile, their main financial risks, and general characteristics. 
Principal component analysis is used within the construction of our new framework to calculate the weighting factors at each level of our framework. Furthermore, t-tests are applied to verify literature outcome on possible determinants. At first, a questionnaire was set up and tested among 30 SMEs. This test was related to the quality of the questions. Analyzing the results led to some improvements. The improved questionnaire then was sent out and returned by over 100 organizations. During the selection procedure, 97 returned questionnaires finally formed our dataset. Our financial risk management framework contains two dimensions, the risk management process and an organizational structure suitable to embed the process. The risk management process contains four components. Following Vorgen and Vorgen, we defined identification, measurement, treatment, and evaluation as the four components within the risk management process, each of them consisting several items. Organizational structure consists of policies, targets, and the use of sources that form the base to set up and adjust policies and targets. As mentioned before, we have used the questionnaire to gather data. Usually, principal component analysis is applied to build a framework by combining several items. In our research, the 15 items stemming from literature remain intact, and principal component analysis is only applied to calculate the several weighting factors. These factors are used to calculate the scores at each level of our financial risk management model. So at components, dimensions, and the overall financial risk management score. As the next slide shows, a disparity factor is added to the overall financial risk management formula. This disparity factor, BFX, can be seen as an adjustment for a disequilibrium between the two dimensions. The picture shows that in a perfect combination, the angle of the normal vector between has an angle of 45 degrees. The normal vector of a non-optimal combination differs. The closer the scores of process and structure, the smaller the difference between the, the normal vectors and thus the smaller the green angle. Next, the smaller the green angle, the closer the adjustment factor to one, and thus the higher the overall financial risk management score. This table presents the outcome of the check we did at the control variables that were previously detected by other researchers. A t-test is executed at all levels of our financial risk management framework. The number of subsidiaries educational level as well as the level of decentralization seem to be determinant for a certain level of our financial risk management framework. Moreover, our study implies that highly educated risk managements pay more attention to the organizational structure. Also, SMEs that contain subsidiaries reach a higher score on the risk management process as well as on the total financial risk management score. Noticeable, no evidence is found on size to be determinant for the level of financial risk management at SMEs. At this moment, the contribution to risk management literature is twofold. First, a new framework suitable for financial risk management for SMEs is constructed. Researchers can apply this framework to describe and understand financial risk management practices at small and medium-sized enterprises. Second, the practical value of our proposed framework lies in the application for the risk manager to examine and improve their financial risk management by the insights the scores give at the level of items, components, and dimensions. Rationally speaking, as said before in this presentation, 
The effort a firm puts into managing its financial risk should be related to the risk profile of the firm instead of its size or number of subsidiaries. The former tested possible determinants are not really indicators of the risk profile of a specific firm. Financial risk is dependent on other variables that directly or indirectly affects the liquidity and profit of a firm. So, we need to take a look from another perspective and introduce risk profile into our research. Cash flow at risk is such a measurement as a measure for financial risk is applied to distract factors that affect the predictability of a firm's financial position in an increasing, unpredictable world. Factors like profit margin or number of direct competitors are more likely to determine the risk profile. My 2021 objective is to finalize my research project and discover the relationship between the risk profile and the level of financial risk management is to be studied. Thank you very much for attending this presentation. I hope you liked it and it was of your interest. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions and or suggestions for further research. I wish you all a very nice 2021. Stay safe.